mabenta ang mga family cars sa Pilipinas. Pero dahil hindi naman maluwag ang ibang kalsada rito, marami ang bumibili ng mga compact sedans. Ano ang compact sedans? Ito yung mga small family cars. Mas malaki sa mga tiny hatchbacks tulad ng Espresso o Wigo, pero mas maliit kaysa sa mga mid-sized cars tulad ng Accord o Camry. Kasa limang tao, four-door na may three-box configuration ng mga to. Bagay sa mga kasingle natin o sa mga may maliliit na pamilya. Kung napansin nyo lang, yung ibang car manufacturers hindi na gumagawa ng compact cars dahil mas nag-focus sila sa mga mas maluluwag na 7-seater MPV o crossover. I'm Stanley Chi for Phil Coaches Top List. In this episode, we'll talk about the five compact sedans you can buy in the Philippines. Oo, lima na lang sila. Before we start, please like this video and subscribe to Phil Coaches' YouTube channel. Click the bell icon for updates and help us reach 100,000 subscribers before the end of the year. The ground rules for the episode are the following. Number one, e eh dapat compact sedan. At number two, available sa Pilipinas. Take note, pinili namin yung pinakasikat at accessible dito sa Pilipinas. Ha? So let's start our top list in no particular order. The five compact sedans you can buy in the Philippines. Number one, Toyota Corolla Altis. Yes, the legendary Corolla. Bata pa lang ako, Corolla na yan. The current 2020 Toyota Corolla Altis has grown into a sophisticated and elegant looking sedan. The current model is also notable for being the first generation of the Corolla to come with a hybrid variant. And yes, its top variant is also one of the more affordable hybrid vehicles in the Philippines right now. Siya nga pala. Nagkaroon na nga ng crossover version tong Corolla, which is called the Corolla Cross, na feature namin sa isa naming video. Click nyo lang. Dito. Dito din. Click nyo na lang. <laughs> Visit philcoche.com and be a part of Phil Coche's year-end blowout sale. Number 2, Honda Civic. Gaya ng Toyota Corolla Altis, the Civic has also grown in size and sophistication. Gone are the high-revving, screaming VTEC models of yesteryears. And what we have now is a calmer, environmentally friendlier, and cushier ride. Uy. Make no mistake though, the Civic is still a nimble car. This is especially true for the Civic RS Turbo which can produce 171 horsepower and 220 newton meters of torque. Saka yung datingan nito eh, pang college student na tumatambay sa katipunan. Number 3, Nissan Silphy. Nissan's entry to the compact car market is the Silphy. Ito yung successor ng Sentra sa Pilipinas. Well, Sentra pa rin naman siya sa ibang bansa. The current one we have in the market is the B17 third generation model. And this one has been available since 2012. It's old, but regardless, it still offers a comfortable and spacious ride that's affordable. Take note, magkakaroon din tayo ng 4th gen Silphy dito sa Pilipinas. At lumebel up ito, hindi lang sa itsura, Pati na rin sa makina. For now though, the Silphy that we have is a reliable and not that expensive compact car in the Philippines with a decent amount of power for its size. In fact, the Silphy 1.6 MT variant is one of the lighter compact sedans in the country with a curb weight of only 1,190 kilograms. Pwedeng pwede kang mag Silphy, I mean, selfie with the car. Number 4, Mazda 3. One of the most mapormang compact sedan in the country is the Mazda 3. This is thanks to Mazda's Kodo design language which puts an emphasis on flowing reflective surfaces, strategic use of body lines, and a flowing overall design. Hindi lang good looks ang meron nito. Masarap ding i-drive ang Mazda 3 because of its well-balanced suspension design, G-vectoring technology, brilliant ergonomics, and the peppy high-compression Skyactiv engine. Sayang lang kasi wala tayong AWD and turbocharged version dito sa Pilipinas. Meron ding hatchback version nito ah, at tinatawag nilang sportback. And last but not least is the Hyundai Elantra which is currently in its 6th generation version. It's a simple car when it comes to onboard features but it offers a sufficient amount of space and power for its weight. Yung current na nandito ay medyo nauhulin sa global version pero tingin namin eh darating na yung bago. Sana next year. Pwede sa mga gustong mag-drive from point A to point B. It gets the job done. Simple at affordable rin. There you have it. The 5 compact sedans you can buy in the Philippines. Marami pa dyang iba kaya lang hindi namin nilahat kasi gusto namin malaman kung ano pa ang mga pwede namin isali sa part 2. 
kaya mag-comment na kayo. Nababasa naman namin lahat dyan eh. I'm your host, Stanley Chi for Phil Coaches Top List. See you in the next episode. Paalam! Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Phil Coche, the country's number one online car portal.